What's up guys, welcome to my 10th Dreamweaver tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you everything else that you need to know about tables. The first thing I want to teach you guys how to do is delete columns or rows. Now I told you guys how to insert columns or rows, but let's say that you made a table and you have this data right here, then you have this extra row sticking out. All you have to do, the easiest way, I know there are other ways, but this is the easiest way, just click on the cell and drag across until both, until the entire row or column is highlighted, then press the button delete. And this will delete your entire row or column with keeping all the rest of the data intact. Now one other thing that you guys are going to want to be able to do is do something called merge and split rows. Say you wanted to add a banner across the entire length of your table right here but you can't add half of it in this column and half of it in this column or else it would look just stupid. So you wanna merge these two cells up at the top. To do this click and drag across all the cells that you want to merge. Now a black box will appear around the edges of them. Then go down right to here to this little button it call, and it's called merge cells. Click that and as you can see our two cells have become one. And this is useful when you want to combine cells or span one cell across an entire length of a table. So now we can insert a banner ad at the top of our website and keep the rest of these cells intact. And you can also do it with columns. Say you wanted to add a navigation bar right here. All you would have to do is highlight and again click merge. And as you see, our cells combined to become one cell. So now we could add a header or a banner and then have a nice navigation bar. But say you did that and you wanted to get your cells back where they were. All you have to do is place your cursor inside and as you can see this merge has now turned into split. All you have to do is click that and it will give you an option of how many columns or how many rows you want to split it into. Since we want to get back to columns, we want to split this one cell into two columns. So I'm going to highlight two, click OK, and as you can see, it turned that one cell into two different columns. Now we can enter data into each individual one. Some more real quick things that you can do with your website, I mean your table. If you highlight your entire table, you can change the border color using border color and simply selecting color. As you can see, the border color of our table is now changed. You can also select your entire table and change the background color of any single cell or a group of cells by just highlighting the selected cells go down to background and picking color you can also type in the hexadecimal color if you know it and as you can see it changes the background color of those individual cells and this is how you can do changing the color of one or two cells without affecting the rest of your table. Another thing that you can do is change the border size of your entire table by highlighting your entire entire table and changing this number next to border. This will change it to however many pixels you want to change it to. So I want to change mine to five. And as you can see, my table now has a pixel has a border five pixels wide around it and the last thing and probably the most important thing you guys are going to take away from this tutorial is how to align your table as you can see our table is now aligned to the left hand side of the website with a big open space to the right hand side to change this 
just highlight your entire table go down here and select center or right I usually want to put my table in the center of the web page so just click center under a line and as you can see we now have a nice even space from the right and to the left and it's now in the center of the browser this is how you can make your website appear in the center of your browser so now that we learned how to do the basic attributes to our table I want you guys to study this and try putting a banner ad right up here and a navigation bar right here and if you're watching this on YouTube please remember to rate my video I'd highly appreciate it and otherwise thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my channel